Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. So those using shortcuts for desktop, okay, no matter the platform or the OS, either they're using Mac, that's a MacBook or iOS as a platform as a platform or Windows or Linux. Once you download shortcuts it and then you open it, it looks like this. If you have any problem downloading the shortcut for your laptop or your desktop, please let me know by commenting below but if you or by commenting in by commenting in the group but if you don't have any problem downloading the shortcuts then hope hopefully you have gotten something like this you've gotten a page like this so once you open the shortcuts you get this straight up you get this time master had about three three major parts okay three major parts let's leave it at that okay so just like kind master there was a preview window which is this point so this point is our preview window where we see the video we are editing you can see from this point to this point is our preview window you can reduce it or increase it it depends on you and what you want but you can reduce it you don't really need to so this is our preview window okay so this is our timeline our timeline is can increase that so this is our timeline just below here and here is our playlist where you will see the videos you want to edit or the images you want to add to the video this is where you see it in the playlist section okay so let me just quickly run through the 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 whole the the functions or the buttons and what or the keys or whatever they call them let me just run through everything on what well, everything you can see on your screen right now okay so file is where you get to see the new project or create a new project open open previous or recently worked upon documents or files save whatever you can see everything that on this place and the edit is to undo redo cut copy paste and the view panel has so many other of this we will surely use all these things when we start okay so the settings button the help button and so on but those ones the main the all the most important parts are these parts here from open file is to open a new file open file is to open a new file open others is to open other types of documents open a device open a stream or generator then save is to save as you are, as you are editing you click click on save to save the the file then all these other functions you see the usefulness properties is to check properties of what you are editing then recent playlist timeline filters all these things you will know the usefulness when we go further in our classes okay so first of all let's just dive into the main distance so that we don't waste time okay let's just open a file and start so you open file go to where you have your videos so perhaps you have our videos in um desktop okay so once you open the once you open the video that you want to use you look for the one you want to use okay so uh, let's assume this is the one i want to use so once you've opened the video, you select the video you want and then click on open. Um, this is the Majestic Estate. Um, it goes for 13.5 million. It's a completely dry land as you can see. I will still... I'm pausing the video. Pause the video whenever you start it so that it does not disturb you. Then put your cursor on this particular place. You can see my cursor. It's on this video on the it's on the video itself that's on the preview uh, window so you put the cursor on the preview window hold down the left um, mouse button and then drag it to this playlist side and then leave it okay so you can see it is now on the playlist side this video is on the playlist side this is it here okay so take this back so the way the same way you did that you drag the video the same video to your timeline okay so you hold it down left click hold it then drag to your timeline so it opens on your timeline so you can see the timeline so just like the way it shows on kind master if you've used kind master okay so now um what can we see on this timeline please we can see you can see something like ripples like ripples these are what they call the audio forms or the audio of the video so you see some parts are really high in terms of the peak while some parts are really low so it's just showing the the voice or the vo the audio of the video at the point where the person's volume was high the the peak is higher so you can see that's what all these lines are the, are the audio forms okay so 
let's start the main editing okay so we are going to just in this class we're going to just do the just like we did for the first class in the kind master we just deal with the cutting okay the cutting of this timeline so to remove the mistakes in your videos so that's the first step once you get the video you want to edit the first step is to remove the mistakes or just yeah you remove the mistakes in because most times you might have uh you might have to join more than one or two clips in a video okay to make it to form a video so you make sure you edit each one of them to remove the mistakes okay so so you pause it you can pause it with this space bar with the space bar button you can pause your video and play. Uh, it goes for 13.5 million it's a completely no. dry Pause it, take this line, drag it to the to the beginning, drag it to the start. Okay, drag it to the start. Okay, so now what we'll do is that so at this point you can now start making your cuts. Um you can use S to cut S is the same thing as split as playhead. Or you can right click and then you see split at playhead, which the shortcut is S. So click on split at playhead. Okay, so to when it does the splitting, let's see. Let's say I want to split this part, this part of the video. You click on um, S, that's split at playhead. So let's assume you can, you can see that the it's highlighted, the selected part is highlighted with red. There's a red highlight around it. So the one if you want if you want to delete this one in the middle, you click on it. It it then has a red highlight around it. So either you right click and then click on this remove to remove it or delete it, or you can click on X button. The X button it removes it. Okay. So let's click on X. So it has removed it. So what you do once you do that, you save. Okay. Or you can even undo let's say that was a mistake you didn't mean to, you mean to remove it click on undo and then it comes back okay this is it so that's what you do throughout your video because the first step in in before you start your video is to make sure you've removed all the mistakes once you record the video remove all the mistakes cut or you the part that are not supposed to be there and before you now start um putting your effects and everything you want to put okay you make sure you put the or sometimes you can place the effect like you want to change maybe your color grading or something you want it to apply on the um try the whole video you can do that but there's, you can always do that later because this is a bet this is a um better software unlike kind master so you can always add that one later in the video but the first thing is to um make cuts and remove the parts you don't want before you start the major editing adding of text adding of logos adding of um, effects special effects adding of transitions etc so um we've done the whole cutting cutting is with s letter s why the removing is for x or the deleting is for x so you've done that do that across your video so if you can see here now as you can see here this is showing the total time of the video the video is 22 seconds 22 seconds video this is milliseconds so 22 milliseconds 22 seconds this is in minutes then this is hours okay so this is showing that we are at the seventh second mark of our video that is what this point is showing by the time i move it further or front you can see it's changing it's now 10 minutes i mean 10 seconds sorry okay we are 10 seconds so that's what you keep doing you keep making your call to move it to post your to post your video um you press Sorry. And the bar so to pause it, press a... it again and then it pauses. So you can use your space bar to pause or play your video, or you can use this button here to play or pause your video. You can always move this around. This playhead, you can move it around. Okay. So um I think those are the major things. This this particular software is not like kind master. This one is better, though. Um we could have used Premiere Pro, which is mostly used, or we can use DaVinci Resolve. All those ones are what they call high-end video editing softwares, and those ones are really good. But for beginners, if you start using that one, you'll be confused because it has a whole lot of things in the on the interface. The interface is 
a whole lot crowded so if you don't understand the basics of editing if you don't understand um what this button is for because there is this open file button in premiere pro all these buttons are also there but the way they are arranged you might not understand them so if you don't understand from this basic um screen or the way the, the screen looks now using those other softwares will be kind of difficult for beginners so that's why i had to use the software to for beginners okay so you on your own just make sure you go through all these buttons always practice practice once you practice with the software that's the only way you can get used to it if you practice it won't spoil it if you i mean sorry if you press all the buttons and then click on them it won't spoil anything you are doing it won't spoil the software it won't damage the software my really spoil the editing you are doing and then you start again from the beginning by clicking new new file then you start again so but it does not damage any major thing so don't be scared Put your cursor over just place your cursor over a button to tell you what the button is used for this one says open a video audio or image file this one says open a device stream or generator this one says save project as is so once you move your cursor on every and every button on this software to tell you what it is used for okay so you can see copy this one is to cut this one is to paste okay this one is to add video add current add tracks okay so it will tell you exactly what all the buttons are used for so just place your cursor on it and then at least for the first class and for the just learn learn all those things and then like i said the same assignment i give to those that were doing that are using kind master on smartphone record a video of yourself or just a a, a a random video of less than one minute and then make edits to it use this cut like we learned um s for cutting x for deleting so once you move this playhead and you want to cut at this point you want to cut at this point you press the s button or you right click and then you see cut or sorry split at playhead you see split at playhead okay so this button this but this button here this is for reducing the timeline to zoom in or sorry to zoom out and then to zoom in Okay, so but let's always leave it in around middle, the middle spot or closer to um, this place so that we'll be able to see the entire the entire timeline. Okay, so just go through everything. This is not you will really need to work more when you are using this um, video editing software on a laptop or desktop. It's not as easy as the one on phone. So you, I will send you a PDF on this particular software to get you. Um, used to the buttons and all the um, tools on on this particular software okay and then plus the tutorials you understand better so finally once you are done with editing your video the most uh, on lap the another important important part is to save your video always make sure you save if you don't save whatever progress you've made so far will be lost or to you if you export it like that it will be lost so make sure you save by clicking here okay or you then when you finish you come to this export export is just like on kind master you click on export that means you are done with your video and you want to get the final um or the final thing from your video so you click on export you see the default here default is h the h the default format is h.264 so you can just select this high profile or you just leave it the way it is then click on export file so then you save click on save yes replace it so if you look at this top right corner of your screen you will see that it's already exporting two percent three three percent like that to, to keep going so depending on your how fast your laptop is the ram the the processing speed and then your gpu that will show, that will determine how fast your your videos are exported okay so if you if a type of pen that has a very strong laptop like a macbook or a very good windows like i5 i7 core i5 core i7 your exporting will not take long so as you can see 32 percent like that this is the second remaining 55 seconds remaining for the video to finish exporting so that's it you export your video and then your video is ready to upload to any platform you want to upload so that's a very important thing so for the assignment like i said do you, you can use the video record yourself maybe saying something important then the parts where you do the m's and the bots and all those mistakes you can just cut them out okay i've showed you how to cut the same way you, you did it in kind master it applies in the in this place too okay 
once you get to the point you want to cut you press s or you right click and you see you see split at playhead okay so it's the same thing and when you are doing you want to remove it you click on that part you want to remove and then right click and click on remove okay so that is it so thank you for watching um okay so i can see our exporting field the reason is field was because of i removed that um clip i deleted that clip but nevertheless make sure you don't do anything while it's exporting don't shut down your system why is it exporting just leave it, leave it until it reaches 100 percent then you are done with exporting okay so thank you